Sagittarius. Come on in. Have a seat. Let's do a reading for you. Energy check-in, end of the year. Review. We'll just do a Celtic today. I've been shuffling off the screen for some time now, so let's do three shuffles and let's begin. One. Two. And three. Let's begin, Saggy. Uh-oh. Starting out hot, Saggy. Come on. What's going on here? Let me get a look at these cards, Saggy. Hmm. Saggy, Five of Swords, you're in a Five of Swords energy. I feel you may have felt like you had to defend yourself. You may have lashed out at somebody with that Five of Swords. You may have whacked somebody upside the head. If you know what I mean. That is where you are right now. I feel this is you. Now it could be that you're over here and somebody just did you like that. And the challenge is that there is a soulmate. There is somebody from the past that could be coming into your reality. It can be this same dynamic. It can be that you just had a fight with somebody that means a lot to you, somebody that has been in your life for a while. This can be an older person than you, or you could be the younger, or it could be the other way around. It can be that you were children together, but you have this connection that has been, uh, I feel, like a lifelong connection. Down in your subconscious, the Six of Swords, you are, uh, I feel, your subconscious pulling you back, pulling you to calmer waters. Uh, to a place of refuge in the recent past you may have been asking questions uh, asking these questions 
took you into possibly something where you began to look at the details and you began to try to figure more things out. You looked a little bit more carefully at something. And now, as a result of this, what lies before you or what you don't see coming is a spiritual time out. You may be already experiencing it now, or you may be walking into it. Uh, in your advice, Page of Cups, uh, I feel this is you uh, extending your cup, uh, your emotions, uh, stand in your truth, stand in what you believe, uh, go with your heart, go with God. Uh, what's affecting this situation? What's in the environment? Well, what's in the environment is your stability uh, tied to your home, tied to your roots, to your beginning well, with that four of wands. In your hopes and fears, which is an extension of the six of swords energy, you want to move towards calmer waters um, and possibly reflect on what was in the past, which is never a good thing to go move to calmer waters only to look at the negative. Uh, but for some reason, somehow, you end up, as your overall projected outcome, you end up being content, you being uh, fulfilled uh, emotionally. Uh, you end up uh, somehow um, able to keep your emotions together. Um, so um, I feel ultimately that you are in some type of healing. You are in some type of, you know, th there's definitely this time out energy here. And, um, but I feel for the end of 2023, uh, we kind of come to this energy here of hanged man. And I feel you're content. And I feel that, you, you know, you are just to continue to be who you are, continue to wear your heart on the sleeve. Sometimes I feel like this card is almost saying that somebody is wearing their heart on their sleeve. You know? I don't know. But it's beautiful. I feel it's it's a good energy to be in as we uh, count down the final days of 2023. We move into the new year and we'll do a new reading for you uh, at the beginning of the new year, Saggy. Sadgy, if you found yourself getting resonated with this message, hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when I upload new videos. And with that, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.